welcome. In front of me is a Realme X50 Pro and today I'll show you how to record screen on the device. So to get started, pull down the notification panel and find the toggle which looks like it's right over here. And before you actually tap on it, you want to hold it. This will take us to the settings where we can customize exactly how it records. So at the top we have uh, record system sound and record microphone. Uh, so in this case, it is a nice touch right here that we can record both of them and normal circumstances You will be only able to record one um, Although you, although if you're recording the uh, Well both of them uh, there might be a little bit of an overlap in recording because it will be recording the system sound and then that system sound might be coming from a uh, from a speaker and recording it again through a microphone along with your voice so if you're if you're enabling both of them, I would strongly advise to use headphones and this will uh, nivellate that problem. Then we have uh, the display, so video resolution. Right here I would go for the highest possible. Um, the device already uh, I believe has 120 Hz refresh rate, 90, something like that. Um, so we're already kind of limited that we cannot record at a higher frame rate. Um, then the medium one at 720p 4 bits per second is kind of uh, trash to be honest so i either go with the high or custom which allows you to set it up yourself with the um, bit rate yourself now personally i would go for the highest bit rate um, 16 megabits per second is not that great anyway uh, and as you can see um, it's cool right here it says that it's ultra clear um, but just as an example, approximately a five minute video will take up 600 megabytes of space, so uh, it's not much, honestly. Um, and for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, with the resolution, the, uh, the size doesn't change, which is something that I don't really understand. It should be way bigger, uh, no matter what you do. Um, so, for instance, 4, 480p shouldn't have the same file size as 1080p, so there's some kind of weird stuff going on here, which I, I'm not exactly sure what it's doing, but I just as a advice, go for the highest possible, just to get the best um, quality. Then if we leave here, we also have things like, uh, uh, where is it, uh, front camera. So if you enable this, it will use the front camera to record uh, well, the footage along with the uh, footage of the front camera and we'll create a little circle somewhere which you can move around uh, for instance where your face will be visible and then also right here we have record screen tabs so whenever you touch the screen uh, it will show a grayish circle uh, to represent where you were touching on the display now if you're planning to record something like gameplays and stuff like that i would advise on disabling this um, it might look a little bit weird when you have this on your footage and well, you have like gray dot just zooming around the screen uh, or multiple gray dots so uh, I would disable this. If you're doing something else like a, uh, like a guide or something like that I would probably keep it so other person can see where you are touching, uh, choosing what, what you are choosing on the display and where touching. Um, so it is really dependent on what you're going to be recording. Now once everything here is set, you can simply leave it and tap on the toggle right here. Let's agree. Uh, now when you're doing this for the first time, it will require access to multiple things. Uh, now all of them seems to be justified. Uh, recording, so screen recording, it needs, um, I assume it's phone calls uh, just to have access to the microphone because I did choose that to record myself here and then um, video so the front camera uh, then we have uh, media uh, sounds from the device and just to be able to save somewhere um, audio uh, the phone audio uh, so whatever the phone will be making and let's just agree and it also gives us a quick little guide on how to use it um, so red circle or square will be uh, start and stop recording uh, then the um, weird hexagon is a settings, obviously. And then the last one is just the close, so it closes that little panel. So once you tap on it, it just brings this up and you still have to tap on the record right here. Once you do, it will start recording. And as you can see, uh, there I am. Um, it records at 60 
frames uh, which was visible there for a moment and whatever you will do right now uh, it will be recorded and as you can also see you can move this around if you want to and you can see the, the dot under my finger so yeah now once you're done with it all you need to do is just tap on this here uh, and click on the square now one thing that I will add, uh, this panel right here that was on the side for recording is not visible in the recording. And now, once you have finished recording, the footage can be found in your photo gallery. So let me just mute it for now. And I believe it's this one. Yep, there it is. So you can see this is the footage. Now I did mute it so uh, it doesn't... Uh, I can't... I don't have to hear myself. Uh, it's always really weird hearing yourself, so rather skip that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, everything that I was doing was being recorded. And that is how you record your screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.